Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to West Virginia Homesteading Mama. It is Chris. Today is Thursday, January the 27th. Had an early Azure pickup time for 8 a.m. Um, I think I got to the drop point at 8.05. I was running behind this morning. But anyway, I got a lot of good stuff um, to kind of fill in. Even though I'm doing the Three Rivers um, Pantry Challenge, I did allow myself to be able to pick up fresh produce, fresh dairy, and to continue to order from Azure to pick up um, things to fill up the pantry and things that we would need. So I'm going to take you down to my counter, show you what I got today. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Um, this is my Azure order. I'll scan it for you and then we'll go over everything. Okay, um, you always get a, a sales flyer for the next month unless they have totally given it all that they had out. So I got the February sales flyer. Can't wait to look through that. We're just going to start right here. Um, everything comes on a refrigerated fr and slash freezer truck or a big semi. So um, my honey has froze up, but it will fall out. But I ordered another three pound jar of raw honey. I ordered two different shampoo bars. I really like the one that I got first. This is a moisturizing formula. This one is jojoba and peppermint. So I'm excited to try both of those. I picked up the Nourishing Traditions um, cookbook. It challenges you to use things out of your pantry. So I picked that up. I picked up this sunflower liquid. It's pure sunflower liquid. Um, I've seen this added to some bakery and bread recipes, so I wanted to have that on hand. I picked up some whole lavender to make um, mix in with my teas. I picked up another four ounce of elderberry. This was four, the lavender is four ounces. That's a big pack compared to the elderberry for four ounces. I picked up some ground cardamom seed. I picked up some whole vanilla beans. I'm going to add this into um, the liquor I have. I think it's rum I have on hand or vodka to make um, vanilla extract. I picked up some ultimate essential mouth care. It's oral wound cleanser, oral debriding agent. Um, these are the ingredients that are on it. The ingredients are pretty good. Directions, you will use um, two to three capsules, swish it around in your mouth up to four times a day when you're having an issue. I also picked up this Rejuve for your gums. It's natural gum therapy. It revitalizes, it soothes, and it conditions. I picked up some mini parchment baking cups. I got an all-purpose e-cloth. I picked up two pairs of these Maggie's footy socks. They are made in the USA and they are organic cotton. So I wanted to try those. I picked up a pound of fresh ginger, whole ginger. That is quite a bit of ginger for $6 for a pound. So I'm really glad I got that. I'm going to dehydrate some and use some in tea. I picked up a pound of active dry yeast. This to me does not look like a five pound bag of hard white wheat. So I will put it on the scale and measure it. If it's not, I will contact Azure and let them know. Um, I picked up one pound of the non, or I'm sorry, 33 ounces of non-fat organic buttermilk. I picked up some dried blueberries for tea and yogurt. I picked up the kitchen dynamo e-cloth. I picked up the range and stovetop e-cloth. 
I just found out that my granddaughter is allergic to the red dye 40, or any red dye for that fact. So I picked up some of the chocolate rainbow drops and the ingredients are pretty clean. They don't have any red dye in them. They are flat or colored with turmeric and beet juice from what I understand. I got a five pound thing of diced potatoes. I'm gonna divide that into smaller one pound packages and put it in the freezer. I picked up another one of the Nutribotic throat sprays with zinc and menthol just to keep on hand. I picked up another vitamin C with D and zinc. It was on sale and it was a good price. I got three bags, three 10 ounce bags of the broccoli florets to throw in the freezer. I picked up 12 of the organic um, tomato paste. So I got 10 of those, or 10, I got 12 of those. It's the Bio Natural Tomato Paste in Glass. It's organic. Let me see if I can get one of these out of here for you. Okay, I had to put the camera down so I could cut it open, but yeah. It's 100% organic tomato paste, no salt added, in a glass jar. That way, if you don't need a full seven ounces, you can take what you want out to the rest in the refrigerator. I also got a six pack of the R.W. Kunson tomato juice, organic. This ended up being cheaper than my local Kroger. So I got these for, to drink and to add to soups. I picked up a larger container. It's an eight pound container of the Wishing dish, Automatic Dishwasher Powder. I love this stuff. So I went ahead and got eight pounds of it. I also picked up this Country Save Oxygen Powder Bleach. It's supposed to be compared to OxyClean. It is a two and a half pound bag, which is 40 ounces and 40 loads. So I wanted to give this a try and compare it to OxyClean. Let's see. And here is your ingredient list, which is a lot better than the OxyClean. So we're gonna give that a try. I will do a review on these products and let you know exactly what I think of them. But I, this, the washing dishwashing powder, I have tried and I really, really like it. But the E-Cloths, I will, when I try them out, I'll do a review. I have bought these diced potatoes before and really like them. So that is my entire Azure haul for this time around. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Thanks. Okay guys, welcome back. I am gonna show you how I store some of this stuff. Um, I do have my canning jars here. So the first thing we are going to do is I'm gonna turn you around so I can kind of see what's going on with everything. So, okay, I had to take my sweatshirt off because I was roasting. <laughs> I get hot real easy. So anyway, we are going to cut the lavender. I'm guessing the whole one pound will fit in here. Um, I store most of my herbs and seasonings in mason jars. So we're going to put the lavender in here. Like I said, I'm hoping it all will fit in here. If not, I'll have to get a bigger jar. I have a little bit of it. Lavender that I grew, but it wasn't quite enough to um, make teas and tinctures and anything that you know, everything I'm wanting to do with it. So, oh, yeah, it's gonna fit. I just put lavender all over the floor. <laughs> I'll sweep it up, no big deal. <laughs> okay, so I've got that on there. Now I need a lid. 
have some used tanning lid over there. So I don't know if this will peel off. I usually try to peel the labels off so I can put the label on my jar. It's not going to. All right, since it's not going to, I'm just going to cut it and then tape it to my jar. That way I know what's in it, um, when it expires, you know, when you got to use it by and so forth. So we're going to cut the label off the plastic bag. I could use my label maker, but this is a little easier. Just cut it off. It doesn't look near as pretty, but we're just going to cut it off and then we are going to tape it to the outside of the jar getting it as smooth as possible. And also, if you don't have a label maker or a um, Cricut, this is an easy way to make sure that your jars are labeled correctly. Mm, that one's not gonna look real pretty, but I will. We'll just doctor it here. And that was four ounces of lavender. It was a, quite a bit. I mean, it fit this whole gallon, or not gallon, but um, quart jar. So this is what I do. I just tape it on there. Then you've got your, where you bought it. You have your best by date right here and so forth. So we're just gonna sit that over here. Oh, that's the container my rice was in. All right, now we have some dried blueberries. This is actually a Classico um, pizza sauce jar, but if you notice, it has the Atlas Mason on it. So this is actually a Mason jar. We're going to take these blueberries out and we are going to put them in this little jar. Okay, oh, we have a straggle in there. These are dried blueberries, if you can see. That's how big they are. They're really, really tiny. So now we have our blueberries in here. And we have our lavender all over the counter. So we're just going to kind of clean that up a little bit. I have it on myself too. All right. So now with your blueberry packet, you have this label on the front and then you have your nutrition label on the back. You could um, actually, you could probably cut the nutrition part off. Again, we're going to see if this will peel off. Some of them will peel just fine and others won't. Okay. This one acts like it's going to. I don't think my jar is going to be actually big enough to hold the whole label. So... And these are the eight ounces of apple juice infused blueberries. And like I said, I'm just gonna use this for tea making. So I don't really care how pretty the jar looks as long as I can tell what's in it. I'm just going to put them in my cabinet. Now I will go ahead and cut off the um, best by date and where I bought them from. 
to put tape on the lid since my jar is small. Of course, I'm ordering most of my dried stuff from Azure, but that's what it'll look like. So we're gonna get rid of this packaging. Okay, let's see. Those need to go in the fridge. This, I'm probably gonna need a this size jar. Even though it says jasmine rice on it, we are going to put the buttermilk powder in it. The jar is clean. All of my jars are clean. They have been washed and dried and set for a day. I'm hoping this 33 ounces will fit in here. Just gonna tap the bag, make sure we get it all out. Okay. Organic buttermilk. Yeah, it has our reconstituting um, instructions on the package. So we're gonna put that on there as well. I am going to actually get a different airtight lid. I'm getting one of the ball reusable lids to put on here. Um, I think this one's going to peel right off of here. Yep, that one peeled right off. So we are going to just stick it over here and smooth it down. This works really well on the Azure um, gallon jars because the surface is flat. So just peeling them off the bags and sticking them, it really works. And same way with our nutrition label. I think I'm gonna put it over the Jasmine Rice sticker. Of course, anybody that looks at it's gonna know it's not rice. I'm just kind of take some of it down to keep it from coming off. This is our dry non-fat milk powder. And it's best to use by, best by date is November 17th of this year. Let's see. It doesn't say anything about keeping it in the refrigerator. So I'm just going to end up putting that over here in my baking pantry. And we'll get rid of the bag here. Okay, now we have, I don't think I need a very big one for my cardamom seed, so I'm going to have to go back and get another one. But for the yeast, I am going to use this jar. It's a mason jar as well. It's a quart jar. And once I get it in the bag, I will put it in my refrigerator or in my deep freeze. Yeast is now in there. We're going to put a lid on it. So if we can peel the, <laughs> the sticker came right off. And where this jar is smooth, it should go on a whole lot better than your jars that have the pictures and stuff on them. It did. So there's one pound of yeast. This one peels off too, so we are going to put that one on the back. This one is good through the end of the year. But the way I bake, yeah, it'll be gone. It says store to a store in a cool, dry place can be stored in freezer to prolong shelf life if kept um, tightly wrapped. So, I will put that in my refrigerator. Let me go get a smaller, yeah, a smaller jar for that one.
Okay, I went and got um, another canning jar. We're going to put our crushed cardamom seed in here. Okay, here is our ground cardamom seed. If you will notice on the package, it is gluten-free and GMO free. This probably will not, no, that's not going to peel off. So we'll have to get our label maker and put a label on. Well, let's just cut off the, the label here. I'll show you my baking um, pantry here in just a few minutes. I have two pantries in my kitchen. One I use for like my baking items and then another one that I store all of my um, wheat berries, most of my wheat berries in for cooking that I'm currently using. And um, then we have taken a one of our spare bedrooms and made it into an office slash pantry to store our long-term food in or things that we're not immediately using like our, I guess you'd call it really the overflow. So we have an overflow room that is my office slash the overflow pantry. So I've worked at home before I left the corporate world um, my office was actually in my home. I worked for an insurance company, so I got to work from home, which was really, really nice. Okay, now we are going to um, do our wheat berries that I have here. They are hard white wheat, and I did weigh them. It is a little over five pound. I didn't think it looked like it when I first took them out of the box. But I was wrong, because most of my wheat berries come in these, I mean, the bags are full when you get them. But I guess these are a little heavier, maybe. Um, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, they're, they are five pounds. Trying to get it open, the easy way. There we go. There we go. Now we are going to put our wheat berries in this big ball container. This is this was actually a ball canister that um, I got at Walmart. So that's what that is. And it has a nice lid that will go on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a few bay leaves into my uh, white wheat berries. It will help keep the bugs out. It'll help keep the larva at bay, any eggs from hatching. So, that's what I do with that. Now we're gonna to try to peel off the labels on the bag. Usually they'll come off easier from the paper bag than they do from the plastic. And I know it makes a lot of noise and I do apologize. But it is just the process. That happens. I just like to keep things as organized as possible. this on there. Yeah, I've got just scotch tape, so no fancy tape needed. We're going to tape all four sides.
All right, now let's just bring this to the other one off. And there again, these wheat berries are good through December of 23. And the label not only gives you all the nutrition facts and the date it expires, it also tells you if you want to cook it and eat it like a cereal, opposed to grinding it and using it for flour. So, when we get done here, I'll show you my pantry real quick. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna make my, um, get my vanilla started. Because with vanilla, you put your beans in it and it has to sit for a few months. Of course, you do shake it every so often. Yeah, mix it up and make sure that it's doing its thing. Okay. About done with this part. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that ginger. I know I'm going to dehydrate some, so I'll probably do that. Okay, that's what it looks like. You can see that I put the bay leaves in there. I think I put four. So, it's got four bay leaves. Okay, now, I'm going to show you my working pantry. This is my uh, baking pantry. It's got, if you'll see, it's got all my seasonings and spices, but for the most part here. Then you come over here, and you've got, um, like, succotant sugar. I've got my to-go containers up here because I always send dinner to my mother-in-law. I've got breadcrumbs. I have oats. I have whole cloves. I've got coconut flakes, um, sliced kiwi, tart cherries, uh, popcorn, chives, banana chips, lemon head candy. Uh, these are caramel balls. There's the, um, Non-fat buttermilk powder that we just put in there. I've got nutritional yeast. I have re mini Reese cups for cookies. I have, um, this is the filling for a Boston cream, cream cake or cream pie that I bought at a local Amish. It's not really an Amish store, but they sell Amish stuff. And then we've got our powdered sugar. I got cashews. I need to fill up my pecan container. I've got my chocolate chips. And then down here, I've got my oils that I fill up my containers with. So, that is everything in my baking pantry. So now, let me, oh, sorry about that. Let me get my um, vodka over here and we will get that um, vanilla going. So, I have my cold vanilla beans and they come in a Mylar bag. So you could actually wash out this bag and reuse it if you should choose. And then I've got the Smirnoff vodka. So we are going to get this opened up. We are going to tear open our Mylar bag. See how many vanilla beans we got. Okay, this is one ounce of vanilla beans and there are one two three four five seven beans in here so i've got seven vanilla beans for one ounce so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get a knife and i am going to split some of these beans So when you split them, you get all vanilla bean paste. You get your inside out of from it. So I've got it split. Now I'm just gonna drop it in. We are dropping it in the bottle. I'm probably gonna do three for now. So I'm gonna do the second one. And then what I will do is I will put what I'm not using back in the bag and put them in the refrigerator. Let's 
I mean, you don't have to store them in the refrigerator, I don't guess, but we'll read on here and see if it tells us. But look at that. Look at all that good vanilla. Okay, I need to wipe my fingers off now. All right, let's put this in here. Let's seal it back up. I'm just gonna give it a couple shakes, but look at that, gorgeous. It is gonna be so great when it's done. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to put it in a dark, cool place and um, I will come back and mix it up probably every two weeks. So that is my video for today. I hope you all got something useful out of the video. Um, my t-shirt, a girlfriend of mine bought this for me years ago from a little, well, a couple years ago from a little boutique here in Huntington called Old Main Emporium. And I love it. My husband hates this shirt, um, but I like it. Anyway, we'll come back in a couple weeks, show you what the vanilla is looking like. Um, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button, hit that little bell notification so you can get more videos when I put them out. I will link Azure Standard in the description. I will give you a link to Old Main, em Old Main Emporium if you would like. Um, that way you can go, they ship all over the world. So if you see something on your web, on their website that you like, they will ship it to you for, I think their flat fee is like either $7.99 or $9.99. They may have had to up it due to, um, inflation. The two Sarahs are wonderful. I love them to death. Um, I buy a lot of my t-shirts and my Marshall University gear from them. So I'm kind of partial to them. But um, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Thanks for going over my Azure order. I have a seed order coming from my MI Gardener. I think it's Michigan Gardener. Um, so I'm waiting on that. It may be here today, but it may be tomorrow. So when I get that, I'll come back on. I'll show you all what I got. So you all have a fantastic Thursday. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. God bless.